So we're at the trailhead for Palis Upper and Lower Palisades Lakes. Our intent is to go camp at Upper Palisades Lake today, which is about six miles and then a couple miles along the lake. So we'll do eight miles this afternoon before we set camp. Then we'll base camp at Upper Palisades Lake, which is a nice, deep, big fish mountain lake. We'll go to Waterfall Canyon tomorrow. It's fairly close. Anyway, take a nice break at Lower Palisades Lake and maybe see a moose. Okay, so here's Joseph, our seven-year-old. His pack, like I said, is like six and a little bit pounds. Marianne just has her sleeping bag, so she's about four pounds of gear, and then her jacket and bag itself. Simply because of space in her little school bag, she couldn't carry more. Haley up there has her own equipment, and she's sitting at 10 pounds. 10 pounds. And my husband and I have not because when you get started on the trail, you end up shuffling things around. So we're hovering between 28 and 30, 32 pounds a piece. And then our 15 year old this week, his birthday is this week, his pack is probably in that same range. So more than we'd like it to be, but he's the oldest, so he gets to be Sherpa. And my husband and I and the 15 year old are the ones carrying the group gear. So actually, Haley, I think your dad has your sleeping bag, doesn't he? Because it wouldn't fit in the bag. So Haley's carrying the tarps instead, so she's probably under 10. Oh, we gave her food. She might be. It gets chaotic. You put all these plans together and then the actual execution turns out different. But we're on the trail. It's a really good view here. What do you like about the view here? Um, I can see all the tall trees, especially that one. And I can also see the caves. That tall tree and the caves. Yeah, the caves give up rocks and then, then the big wide river. The big wide river, Palisades <laughs> Creek. We're trying to get to the upper lake. It says we have 2.7 miles left to get there. It's uh, Trevor. What time is it? Quarter after three. Quarter after three. 2.7 miles will be an hour and a half to do that. So we're gonna make it before dark, at least to the lake. I'm not sure where we're camping exactly. So. This is the lower lake of Palisade. water snake was swimming out into the lake there and a fish went after it, took it, pulled it under. Anyway, crazy, I've never seen anything like that ever. So we're stopping to pump water at the lake. One of the people we saw at the trailhead that was just day hiking came by and they asked us for some water. So we filled him up and decided while we have the pump out, we might as well fill ours. So Trevor's pumping water. Haley, your water bottle is just sitting over here. What? And the kids are trying to stay dry. So after the longest uphill, the whole 
seven miles was uphill, relentless. We're here. This tomorrow we're gonna go over to this waterfall canyon. So with just day hiking, we're ready for a break at the top, and then you can see the lake. Just making it out. Think, Marianne. <coughs> Tiring, painful. <coughs> Open wide. I'll give you a drink. No, 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 no. I am beat. That was a steep six miles, but we made it to camp before dark, and the kids have gone with Trevor down to the lake to pump water to fill all our water bottles. I gathered the water for cooking from an extra water bottle we had and it is sitting on the stove right now waiting for it to boil and then I'll pour it in our bags for our beef stroganoff the problem we're having is we don't have any utensils so beef stroganoff with egg noodles and I'm not sure anyway Marianne's idea is to cut the corner and and eat it that way. But we have done that with some of our other meals and it works great and beef stroganoff we haven't. I don't know how that's gonna work, so. That's our little dilemma. What do you do when you forget utensils? Yeah, that's what we're doing. So, that's how it's going. We made it to camp before dark. We've got a sleeping area set up and we're cooking dinner. It's really good. And I really like that there's no cleanup. because so we'll just take the bag and actually tonight we can just throw out the fire and we don't have to pack anything out. It's wonderful. It's good. Joseph is demonstrating why, look, just look at his mouth, why we're going to do a bath after s'mores instead of before s'mores. going to throw s'mores. him in the lake. And let him swim with the fishes. Mm-hmm. And the giant sharks. Yeah.